hey guys so today i'm going to be showing you guys how i make my stuffed snookfish with four ingredients well supposed to be four my mom forgot to buy the other one so yeah let's move on firstly here i have my snookfish that has been cleaned and you know cut in half i have seafood seasoning you can substitute this for fish spice and then i have red yellow and green pepper red onions and gouda cheese you can use any cheese that you like i just prefer gouda and then i have here my foil so the first thing that you have to do is chop your veggies first up peel and rinse your onions and then chop them up however you want i love mine in an onion ring form you can chop them up finely or however you want it's up to you next take your red yellow and green pepper and also chop them up however you want and then next you are going to take your cheese and grate it next you take your baking pan put it on your counter and then cover it with foil make sure you cover the entire pan and then up next you're going to take your fish and put it on top of the pan and then you're going to take your seafood seasoning and start sprinkling it all over the fish and the second last step is to stuff the fish the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your cheese and start putting it on the fish and don't be shy with the cheese and next, you're going to take your onions and place them on top of the cheese. There is really no particular order to stuffing this fish. This is just how I love to do it. You can do it however you want. Also, the ingredient that I missed was the mushrooms. I did mention that my mother forgot to bring the mushrooms. So I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, stuff this fish without the mushrooms. So after you put your onions, you are going to take your peppers and also put them on top of the onions and cheese. And because the cheese is the second hero ingredient for me, I'm going to take some more and put on top of everything just for that extra cheesy flavor. And lastly, you're going to take your seafood seasoning again and sprinkle it all over the cheese, onions and peppers, you know, just for that extra seasoning. And then you are going to take one side of your fish and fold it over the other. This is how it should look like before you put it in the oven. It should be completely stuffed. You should really struggle with closing it. And the last step is to completely cover the fish in foil and put it in the oven for 35 to 45 minutes with your stove on 200 degrees. All right, you guys, my fish has been in the oven for about 45 minutes. And as you can see, the juices from the fish have you know burnt the foil a bit if i can put it like that so now i'm just gonna open it so that you guys can see what it looks like on the inside voila this is what my fish looks like on the inside i don't know if you guys can actually see the smoke coming out but yeah this is how it should look like if you want it to you know if you want the cheese to be a bit more melted you can put it back in the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes and then you're gonna you know um eat it with any side of your tray so obviously i can't cut it now because you know it's not yet dinner time so yeah this is what my fish looks like thank you so much guys for watching do tell me in the comments what you guys think of this snook recipe and yeah until next time bye